welcome back to the Decades Challenge with the Beckwith family. I believe we are we are on um, episode 10 now. So we do have Elizabeth. Um, I did try to pick up exactly from the other episode so that way we could... Um, uh, I think Anna was here to visit. So we wanted Anna to come in and do some interactions with Clara. So... <clears throat> Elizabeth is home from school so and look she's already utilizing her journal to rant about her stressful day today at school so I'm super happy that she went straight for that and then I'm gonna have Clara come over here and invite Anna in before she walks away well the laundry can wait today so we'll have her um maybe we can ask Anna to like have another kid <laughs> since we know that um Clara is pregnant with baby number three so in the next episode hopefully we'll be giving birth to our third addition to the Beckwith family so Clara I'm gonna have her use the bathroom really quick um Elizabeth is reading under the blankets, so she had a very tense day. Oh, she needs fun. That's that's why she feels so tense. Okay, so we're gonna have her just resume um, her drawing. So her first trait is creativity, and then she does have the creative aspiration, and so we'll have her um I have an activity table oh it did check it off okay and then I'll have her draw two pictures I'm not worried about her being inspired right now just want to get her fun up a little bit then let's see um looks like Anna is coming out here to help us in the garden and she also seems to be um very tense <laughs> So, oh, Clara needs to take a bath. Okay, so we'll let her take a bath. Um, Anna is cleaning up for us, so thank you so much for that assistance. And Florence is angry. Oh, why is she using... Uh, all right. I'm pretty sure Florence had at least... Does she not have... Okay, where are my skills? Here we go. Okay, potty... Oh, she doesn't have it up just yet. So, um, we'll definitely need to stop making a mess for one. We're not doing this again. Okay, so firm, tell not to make a mess. Come over here and do this, please, because I'm sick and tired of these dang kids making a freaking mess. Let's potty train her. I know she doesn't really need to go to the bathroom, but we're just going to go ahead and potty train her anyway so we can try and get that skill up and she's not using her diaper. Elizabeth is coming downstairs. She is going to eat something. Um, maybe let me reset her. So there we go. Go ahead. Eat some leftovers. Now, Clara. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. Hello, Anna, my best friend. How has your day been? You seem to be very angry. Let's discuss your... Um, complain about lack of power. Oh, the not her power, lack of power being a woman, her lack of power because the power got turned off. <laughs> we keep forgetting to pay the bills. Okay, so you know what? Complaining about these bills as usual. Um, let me share the big news with you. I'm pregnant with baby number three. But first, let me complain about these bills. I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills while I'm expecting a third child. It is like, oh, what? Another baby? I'm so excited for you. No, wait, Clara, come back. We're, we're trying to be best friends with Anna over here. So let's build up some friendly interactions. Um, yes, I love my family and I'm so excited to be expanding a third baby. Charles really wants to have a boy. Um, let's see. Oh, does, why, why do you feel so angry today, Anna? Like, how can I help you with that? 
Calling. Do you need some Who's friendly advice? Do you want to vent? Uh-huh. Like, I'm sorry you're such in a, you know, yeah. crappy mood. Mm-hmm. Ooh, wait, I just, okay. Oh, yo, yo. I'll circle back around. Go Let's see. Need. Let me see, you can we, okay, so we can try Crystal and calm her down. Her. We'll do that. Like, hey, uh, you came to visit. I'm here to support you. Um, everything will be okay. Uh, and Clara, or Anna's like, I don't know if everything's going to be okay, Clara. Like, I don't feel like everything's going to be okay. I wonder what's going on. Oh, no. I, I don't want any kids right now. I'm just, no, we're not ready. Oh, maybe things aren't going well at home. Maybe that's why she's so upset. So we'll have Clara apologize because um, we have an offensive conversation happening. Anna's mad. Oh no, Anna, I'm I'm so sorry. Who is Stinky? <gasps> oh my goodness, Anna! She is so angry. <gasps> She was so offended by Clara. How dare you presume to know what I am going through in my household and expect me to expand my family. You have no idea what's going on. She could, oh, she's gonna, I'm gonna burn down your house now. <laughs> no, she's just lighting the fireplace. Oh my goodness. So she's still hanging around. Um... Can we apologize, Anna and Clara? Okay, smooth apology. Let's see. Um, her privacy was invaded. That's unrelated. Okay, so Anna is very angry. Um, Clara tried to, you know, get her to calm down, and Anna was not having that. She she wants to be in her feelings, right? And Clara should have respected that. Um. Clara was trying to ask her to expand her family. So now Clara's like, Anna, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I really didn't mean to. I just... I just wanted to make you feel better. I wanted to help you through your anger issues. You know, not that I'm assuming that I know what's happening in the privacy of your own home. But I'm, I'm here for you. I'm here to help you process your feelings. If you need extra support, just let me know. It seems like Anna maybe was accepting of the conversation. Um, it looks like maybe she accepted Anna's, or it looks like she accepted Clara's apology. Um, what do we give her a heartfelt compliment? And Anna, like, we're not going to try and calm her down. Like, you're doing great. You are an amazing woman. You are a strong woman. Let's try to brighten the day a little bit. Look, today is a new day. Tomorrow is a new day. Like, look on the bright side. You know, I'm still here to support you. Um, And Anna's just like, I think she's just still... Whew. Okay, so Anna's leaving. We're just gonna let her leave. She's gonna take some time to herself. I was, like, not expecting that reaction. She was not happy with Clara. Um, yeah, so now they have a grudge. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see if we can come back from that. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and get everyone's needs met. Clara obviously just is not having a good day. Um, <laughs> Anna came over. I thought we were going to have a friendly interaction. I thought today was the day that they were going to become best friends. Anna was very angry. Clara tried to help her through it. Um, yeah, and we kind of don't really know what's going on that made Anna so angry so hopefully you know it's not anything that's too serious but Anna did seem to be highly offended um that 
Clara was asking her to expand her family. So I wonder if maybe she's having some like marital problems. Um, if you recall when we had asked Anna if she wanted to have a baby, she was all for it. But when Charles tried to ask um, William if he wanted to have a baby, you know, um, we didn't have that option and it could be maybe we weren't friendly enough and we kind of just chalked it up to like, you know, William said that he just wasn't ready to have kids and we were like, okay, we're going to respect that. Um, but what if now they're having marital problems because Anna really wanted to have a baby and William just wasn't 100% on board? Um, I guess we're just going to have to find out. Maybe, maybe in the next episode we'll go over, um, and visit them. But I think we're going to let Anna have some time to herself, um, process her feelings, maybe, um, she'll kind of think about Clara's apology. You know, Clara was very genuine with her apology. She did not mean to offend Anna in any way. You know, she just wanted to be supportive to her friend. So we'll see um, what develops later on. Um, but in the meantime, I think I'm going to go ahead and send Clara to bed. You know, despite what happened today, she seems to, you know, be very energized. She's in a good mood. Um, so hopefully this is just a reflection that she's going to have a good pregnancy. And I will catch you guys in the morning. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get everyone wrapped up here since Elizabeth is at school and I'm going to take the Beckwiths over to the parish household um, and just meet their little one since we have not done that yet. And I will All see right, you guys. Here we go, there. guys. So we are here and Anna is already outside. So let's see um, if we are able to... <laughs> Maybe repair our re insult her yard. Um, repair our relationship a little bit. She's feeling dazed. I wonder why. That's interesting. Um, so we can definitely compliment her house. Oh, and here's her little one. So we'll probably need to go in and like update his name and his clothes. Um, but here he is. So. Emilio for now is his name, but we'll definitely give him a, like a decades appropriate name. Um, what is she off to? Just running around. Maybe we can um, we can share the love because she is a charmer. Um, okay, and I think that's the only thing she can do. So hopefully he can stay outside. They can meet each other um, and then maybe they can become friends. And I think that would be nice. So, like, hey, friends, we're the same size. 
Um, so we can set... Oh, Anna, why are you mad? Or, I mean, um... Clara, why are you mad at Anna? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then Mary was calling, and I don't know why Mary was calling. So, can you sit here? Like, stop talking for a second. Can you sit next to her? Okay, first of all, Charles, where did you get food from? This is chaos already. Okay, so we'll have, um, let's just knock on the door so we can actually be inside their resident. Oh, and they're getting ready for Harvest Fest. Okay, so we do have Harvest Fest coming up. Fun, fun, fun. Um, so why are you standing so close to him? Can you, like, back up? <laughs> Give the poor man some space. Oh my gosh, like, hey, thanks for welcoming me into your home. I'm gonna stand nose to nose with you. Show appreciation. He does have the proper trait. Um, we can share technophobe. Sure. Why are you angry? Oh, that's that's right. He does not like William. Why are they dazed? That is so interesting. Like, what happened to them that they're both like dazed? I'm gonna have to like pop over. Um at some point and kind of like see what that's about that's so interesting to me um let's see do to do to do, do um i don't want to do that again um we've complimented her house already let's have a deep conversation um, they're still not best friends yet, and I'm wondering if we're even going to get to that point now um, to see if they're going to be best friends, and maybe we'll discuss interests, and we will do, maybe we'll discuss the neighborhood changes. So maybe we'll say like, oh, somebody's building a house on one of the empty lots. We have somebody who's moving in. Um, I wonder if they're going to be nice. So we have some changes upcoming in the neighborhood. That'll be interesting. I'm not gonna argue about music. Um, we'll ask her, like, how is your day going so far? You know, it's the afternoon. We can do that. We've already shared the big news. And Clara, or Anna didn't like that. Clara, I think, was too excited and was asking her if she was going to expand her family. Should we try it again, you guys? Should we try it again? I wonder if her, like, current mood has anything to do with wanting to expand or not. We'll see. So she's, like, weird and confused and dazed. And so is he. But we'll just see. So we'll ask her. We'll ask her again. And if it's a no-go this time, maybe we'll just stop asking. Um, just, I really want them to be best friends. And it is not working out. <laughs> Oh, see, so she still has the negative, um, yeah. Can we apologize? So she doesn't want to have kids. No, and we got the negative reaction again. So can we apologize again? I know we apologized the other day, but can we do it again? Or maybe Anna has to apologize to Clara. Um, yeah, so we don't have that option. So I think at this point, Anna would have to apologize to Clara. Um, but yeah, there, she's just not happy to be around her. And it doesn't look like we're going to be friends. We can do an inside joke. Hey, remember that one time, you know, when, uh, John washed my laundry? Wasn't that so funny? I think that was funny. <laughs> oh, okay. Anna thinks it's funny. I do remember that. That was so funny. We had just known each other and he was digging through your laundry. We'll compliment her outfit. Her dress is pretty. Um. Okay. Well, I mean... Uh, <laughs> 
per, you know, typical behavior of The Sims, no matter how hard you try to do something, they literally do their own thing. Um, we can enthuse about our children. Maybe that'll make her feel good. I don't want to insult her house. That's not keeping us on the path of becoming best friends. So we can just chat about property values. Um, view clubs. Is she in multiple clubs? Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. She's not. But I guess that's just another way to, like, kick her out if needed. So. All right. <laughs> So we were able to meet their son wherever he ran off to. Oh, he's playing in the toilet. All right. Well, Elizabeth is home. So let's head home. Um, I don't want her to be there by herself. And Clara's mad. She's she's not ready. It was too soon. Too soon for Clara to come over here. She's mad all over again. She's just not. Her feelings are still hurt. Anna said some really mean things to her. Um, so it's looking like we're going to need to give it some more time. So we're, I'm going to have them so head here we home. Are. We are back guys. home and let's check on Clara. Clara. Oh, Anna's calling. Let me answer it. Let me just see. Quick question. John Dockery and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? <gasps> That's Mary's husband. Should. I don't th think we, um, to be honest, I'm not sure. Cause I don't know what the intention, um, I don't know what the, the intention behind that is. Um, but it doesn't look like Anna said anything t to us in response to that. So, um, I'm curious to see if she's going to spend time with John or not. That was weird. Hmm, Anna has been acting a little weird here lately. Um, I guess we're just going to have to see what happens. So, let's check on... We're not making a mess. Absolutely not. Now you get to clean it up. Now you can clean it up because this is ridiculous. And I'm going to have... Well, I was going to have your dad, but he's in the bath. I'm going to have your mother come out here. And she is going to discipline. I, I'm going to punish you. You are, you're going into a timeout for making a mess because you made a mess your entire toddlerhood. Now you're a child. You should be more responsible. You know better. And now you're going to get a timeout. That's what's going to happen. Because I'm sick of you making a mess. You cleaned it up, but you're still going to get a timeout. Yes, go. Be angry. That is fine. But you are going to be sitting in that timeout. <sighs> Goodness. Oh, we've had laundry in here this whole entire time. Okay, so hang on the clothesline. So let's get that taken care of. Let's get caught up while Elizabeth is um in a timeout. We're going to replace our water. And do some laundry. We're going to search the pockets. So let's get that taken care of. Elizabeth's timeout is over. Um, rant about stress and then do your homework. And then Clara will do laundry, wash in the wash tub. And um, actually... Come over here and make a few bathtubs. And then we'll sit down and eat as a family. Oh, and you know what? We actually, let me cancel one of these. And we need to make um, two more dining chairs, actually. Okay, well, I'll, I'll have to wait on that. But we'll have to do that because um, both Elizabeth and Florence are going to need chairs at the dining room table now. She's angry. That's fine. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? No. So just go to sleep. You will be fine. Um, Elizabeth has finished a work of art. 
we'll make holiday crafts. We will make okay, grand meal crafts. And uh, I think what I'm going to do since tomorrow is Winterfest, not Winterfest, Harvest Fest. Since tomorrow is Thanksgiving, I'll just keep it simple. <laughs> since tomorrow is Thanksgiving, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here so it's not too long. Clara should be entering into the third trimester. So... Um, I'll play a little bit off screen and um, I'll get her into the third trimester. We'll start Thanksgiving in the next episode. And then after that, I believe Calera will be giving birth on Friday. Um, so in just two more episodes, we will give birth and we will know if Charles has finally gotten his heir. Um or if Clara gave birth to another daughter. But I feel pretty confident that we are having a boy. Um, two girls and a boy will be perfect. And yeah, and then maybe they'll stop having kids after that. So that's definitely what we're going to do. So thank you so much for um, tuning into this episode. I appreciate you guys so much. If you're interested and if you're new here, go back, you know, catch up on the other videos, hit that subscribe button. New episodes of The Sims and Bloom and The Decade Challenge are going to be posted um, later on. So don't miss out on that. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you later. Um.